Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you, Jesus, I adore you, lay my life before you. How I love you, Spirit, I adore you, lay my life before you. How I love you, how I love you. Welcome to the New World Christ Church, and a lot of people are say, God, the last thing that you need to discuss is who Jesus is because on Sunday morning there's over a half a dozen renditions of Jesus and most of the Jesuses out there are strict and if you make any sin or mistake you fall out of grace and you live with guilt and you have a really hard time swinging back to being saved or you have a God that's racist. These are gods that have ruined my life, have given me mental illness, have with great delight provided me the instinctual pleasure to go out there and throw myself into drugs and prostitution and horror them. It was when I started attracting the pedophile priests and the pedophile old wealthy men I said, wait, something's wrong. So I have been through a lot of identity I establish and then it's cut because of my morals. And then I create another identity and then it's cut because of my morals. And for you, because this is not about me, this is about you, you have a whole line of thinking based on your past influences of folks or friends or churches that told you how to reason, how to make sense out of something and to break it down and to see this is where the problem was, we can fix that and then we're fine. If you deal with me on the level of racist God, total guilt, total rules. If you sin, it's because you are the one that anyways is demented. And if your broken family is not together in the divorce, which mine is, it's because of me. It's a Christianity that tells me to take on all the blame and to be that compassionate and that empathetic where I put myself aside to the degree of doing good to others but not it reciprocating. So somehow I have these undertones of suicide and I just want to die. I just want to get loaded. I just want to get slammed by heroin using syringes. I want to be lost in the street like a rat, looking for love. This is what the gay man deals with in his shadow. He comes from a very dark place because of rejection 
and if he has family or a society around him that uses their heterosexuality and their appearance of being high on the life and being taken care of and having vacations but you don't as a gay man, you perceive it as a weapon. So the very dark, isolated space that the gay man is in is very, very very painful. All people have pain in a family because of maybe parents' re rejection or neglecting them. For you gay men that have sisters and siblings, you have to find a way to get along because she may feel as rejected and demised as you do, but you have the orientation to be the hook. So your story actually sticks with people more than hers. Just that difference can cause long-term dissension. And that's what's happened in my case. I'm hoping to produce a Mother's Day for my mother and my sister but in their differences, and then me coming in with my psychobabble, and my, because I live with mental illness, I'm mentally ill, I live with schizoaffective bipolar. One doctor says anorexia, the other doctor says uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Then, of course, the religion of the family. I have many people in my family, biological, that tell me I'm not, I'm lost, so that's another mental illness. So when it has come to angry sex with me, I've done a lot of barebacking, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I should have already had AIDS. But I want us all to acknowledge our story right here. The negativity that you have, and the la and and the, the the lying or the cheating or the grumbling, grumbling or the anger, the hatred. Put that in your palm and say, "This is my story." Mm -hmm. It's pretty dark. It's pretty unfathomable that I would have this pain still, and it hasn't uh, disintegrated because I spend money, and I'm beautiful, and I'm hot, and I'm a celebrity, and I'm a star. But I, I have evil in my heart, like everybody, and... I worship Satan. I worship the beautiful powers of the most gorgeous and vain angel that was thrown from heaven to earth. It gave me music and fashion and strategizing to get people to notice me. I believed in that lie. For a moment. Oh, I have a client. I'll talk to you soon. We'll continue this later. Goodbye.